In addition to all of the water control and containment infrastructure, there are a lot of natural factors that make the Concho Valley's relationship with water unique. So in order for us to get water into our lakes and reservoirs here in the Concho Valley, we need it not only to rain here in San Angelo, but also off to the west. That's where our watershed goes into. Otherwise, it flows down into the Austin area. We kind of saw this last year with all the rain that fell near Junction, really filled up Lake Travis kind of left our lakes a little bit on the bad side. And of course, if we don't get enough rainfall in a given year, then all the other years are affected. It evaporates too much. The air itself is too dry. We're kind of in a good spot right now where we have the soil still fairly moist from the rains that we had had in the fall. So we look to be going into a decent enough springtime. The effects of San Angelo's position in the literal Concho Valley is what tends to cause rain systems to skirt around us, negatively impacting our surface water. Well, a lot of folks talk about the San Angelo bubble or dome sometimes. And while there's no real scientific evidence or studies concluded on this so far, we are in a valley and that can have a little bit of an influence, even as shallow of a valley as we tend to have here. We hear a lot about the San Angelo bubble from viewers and it may be there, it may not. The data that we have is not high resolution enough to tell us that, hey, it's not raining in San Angelo, but it's raining all around us. Now, terrain does play a factor in it with the extra elevation off to our west, you know, we see a little bit more lift to our east, and that's why areas off to the east of San Angelo maybe saw the heaviest rain this year. They had close to 40 inches between Eden and Brady. That's a lot for this area. But even with all of that rainfall during the last quarter of 2018, Concho Valley residents know from experience why conservation is still of paramount importance. In order to really keep that oasis feeling around here, we have to conserve our water, and the city does a great job of doing this. Uh, just helping with initiatives to keep our water conserved and uh, also building new projects that help keep the water here in San Angelo because a lot of the water we get is from runoff. It is because of that fact that San Angelo has taken initiative to diversify the sources of water used by the city from the Hickory Aquifer to the Concho River Reclamation Project. For Our Water, I'm Victor Glenn.